Anybody else out there miss hyperdressing from Meguiar's? I haven't been able to get it in stock for months. There have been delays like we've never seen before. What the heck is going on? Shortages, delays, cost increases? Yeah, costs will be going up. That was T. Eric Allen from AutoAlity.com. <laughs> it's our favorite place to buy detail supplies. And I'm Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing in Heber City, Utah. You know, I want to talk to the detailers out there. What are the products that are going to go up in price? What can you expect running your business as we go forward? What do I stock up on now before the prices go up? Pads are one area where I would buy a few extra. The folks at Autoality, the folks at Rupes, other companies say they're really, really proud of the fact that they've held off on price increases for a while. But the reality is a lot of this could soon change. I've been seeing the price increases from manufacturers that are going to be taking effect November 1st, December 1st, January 1st. Again, T. Eric Allen from AutoAlity.com. If you haven't already, $50 for their Detailers Club. It's amazing. Once you buy in for that, you have it for the whole year and the prices are literally unbeatable. Go to any 25% off sale on any other website and you're still getting them at either that price or lower with autoality.com. We're gonna get to products that might be going up in price in just a second. But first, let's do a little context. How did we get here? First, we must go back to the beginning of the pandemic. We've seen tremendous growth since the beginning of the pandemic and quite honestly, that's not what we expected. Um, thought for sure it was going to be some lean months until we kind of got through the beginning of it. But almost immediately, things really started to take off um, just because people had more time to spend at home. They needed things to do. And once they got done organizing the house, organizing, you know, garages, it got to be, like, okay, well, what's next? Well, let's start detailing the car. And I think that's also spawned a lot of people looking to make money on the side. Yes, indeed, more detailers getting into the game. Now, if you wanna see more about the business of detailing and whether you should get in if it's too late, we'll have a Jason Rose video from Rupes USA. He's the global director of training. We talk about this at length. It's not just the DIYers though, professional accounts, professional detailers, they are really ramping up what they are buying on sites like autoality.com. Most of our professional accounts are a lot busier right now um, because if people aren't spending on traveling and dining out, you know, and they don't want to detail themselves, it, they have the extra money now to, to get that professional detail done. Let's talk about what I should buy, what you should buy before we're all going to need to pay more. In terms of pure dollars, um, I do think microfiber because it is all imported. We can't you know, make or manufacture microfiber here in the US. There's nobody who's doing it. So that being said, with containers and container ships backing up, that cost of transportation isn't going to go back down. And most microfiber manufacturers have not passed along an increase. Auto fiber hasn't had one. You know, we did not increase our club pricing on our autoality microfiber towels. And while we're doing some creative things to try to offset that, it's not going to be something that I think we can do every day for the rest of our lives to offset the increases in transportation that we've seen. So I would say anything that's imported, you might see the biggest increase um, in terms of percentage points um, and then foam pads because foam pads are, you got a lot of components that go into those. So and production times are just getting longer. And then there's Meguiar's hyperdressing, and what I'm told is actually a shortage of water-based silicone. Raw materials have been hard to come by. I know water-soluble silicone, I was warned in March that late summer there would be a shortage of water-soluble silicone um, by a manufacturer, and I think that's probably what we're seeing with Meguiar's hyperdressing right now, is that shortage cut them without and between shipping delays um, and just labor shortages around the world and, and COVID interruptions, there have been delays like we've never seen before. Um, and, and that is really what's driving the cost issues. A lot of it is on the transportation side. And so you think of things like microfiber, which comes out of Korea or China, um, or a lot of the little detailed brushes, which also come out of China. Um, microfiber applicators. So you see a lot of those and your shipping costs have gone up. You know, a container pre-pandemic 
about $3,500 a container to come from China's most common port to the port of LA Long Beach. That's now between sixteen and $17,000 a container. So, you know, even though you may have thousands of pieces on there, you're still now spreading out you know, four times the cost of shipping that you were before. In addition to that, the cost of getting it from the port to your door has gone up. So freight from California to Pittsburgh, because there are some manufacturers I pay the freight on, that has gone up about 50 to 60% for me this year alone. So the cost of getting it from port or from a warehouse on the West Coast to the East Coast has gone up. And, and that's where you're seeing all your product costs going up. And even if the raw materials, which have increased a little bit, even if they haven't gone up, on the chemical side, you still have a lot of manufacturers get their bottles, get their caps, get labels made and imported from China. So while maybe chemical costs haven't gone up, the cost of getting the packaging has gone up tremendously, which is also fueling some of the increases. So it's, from a price perspective, it's, it's all about the cost going into the manufacturing. So you got the raw materials, you got the transportation, you do have some labor costs going up. And then what, what's making it even harder is the transportation delays. So just as of Tuesday, there were 77 container ships docked outside the port of LA Long Beach. So that's up from 44 ships about a month and a half ago. So you're talking a lot of freight waiting to be offloaded that hasn't gone anywhere. And when you have those kind of delays, let's say, I know for a fact, auto fiber has a container shipping, sitting somewhere on those ships. And they, they have told me, listen, it, it's waiting to be unloaded. We don't know when we're going to get it because there's no insight for someone like auto fiber or for myself when there are microfiber towels to see exactly where and when everything's going to take place. You're trusting the system to work itself out. And unfortunately that leads to a lot of delays. And then you run into some product shortages mainly because let's say McGuire's hyperdressing or let's use McGuire's D1801 because that was the same Type of situation. The Meguiar's just didn't have it, and everybody was out of D1801 for a while. Well, there's alternatives, but then all of a sudden, our 3D BDX starts selling through the roof. Um, G Technic W6 sells through the roof because all of our Meguiar's business is shifting to another option. Then creates stocking pressure on the subsequent other items that people are turning to. And, you know, G Technic 3D, they can't predict that McGuire's is going to run out. And all of a sudden, you know, one of the top selling iron decom products is going to shift to a bunch of different manufacturers in a day and age when you can't just get raw materials and packaging in a week like you could before. So it creates ripple down effects to other brands, to other products, because someone like a McGuire's is out of a hyper or a D1801. And it, it, it's just, it just trickles on down and causes other supply issues. Again, that was T. Eric Allen from AutoAlity.com. He says one price increase you're not going to see, their Detailers Club membership. 50 bucks, it is staying there. And truly, the customer service we've had from him is amazing. And I could go into it, but you just really should try buying from him and, and uh, tell me how you like that experience. The OGs in the game, they all know AutoAlity.com. Um, what I'd like to know from you is, do you like this format, or would you rather see me doing detailing and tips and tricks, reviews? Uh, I want to try to be in my own lane here and tell you what is going on in this detailing space. I'm always there for you, though. Just let me know. And check out this video if you actually like watching those detailing videos.